fight, so no one could ever tell me uh, you f you're the most unqualified champion. I'm like, listen, dude, if you know what you're watching and you understand and follow the sport, then you know that I was the guy that should have been there the entire time. So. Round one. Change. Fight. Ape, and you can see it physically. Whoa. Just looking at him. Look at this. How Jan about takes him down. How about that? Let him out, let him out. Good stomp to the knee there by Aljamain get on the get ground. Jan Corner calling for him to allow. Although Aljamain's throwing a lot of Oh, fine knee! Beautiful takedown defense by Jan. Beautiful. Have gone by in this UFC. Oh, 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 for you! Look how patient Jan is. Doesn't rush in. Wow, Beautiful good. low kick. Drops him with the low kick. Oh, look at that. You're right, Joe. He's patient, never in a rush. Look, from the start of the fight to the end, it does not matter. He never shows too much emotion. Look at this. But he does not have anything here. He didn't have the right angle on it. But he, he was, was able trying to recognize to it just enough. He's trying to... The, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Will. So funny. <laughs> Entanglement. No! That young corner really doesn't want him messing around on the ground in any way, shape, or form. 30 seconds to go round one. But look at this. Yeah. Jan takes his back. I'm gonna climb his back like a spider monkey and uh, choke his ass out. Sliding his hips down towards the feet, and now he's the one offensively trying to get a takedown on the high crotch. Nice job by Jan to cover up there. Round two. Fight. Long go. He's reading he everything, right, Joe? Yeah. He's reading everything. He recognizes that five minutes is a long time. There's a lot of things happening. And five rounds is a long time. Aljamain really does need to slow everything down. He's overreacting, he keeps falling when he tries to throw kicks. He's playing with a lot of nervous energy, it feels like. Well, this is the big moment. Yeah. Like, Jan swapped the title and won it. This, ha this has happened three times where he's fallen over himself a bit. He needs to calm down, really try to compose himself as he tries to accomplish such a long standing goal. Up and down. Let's go. Up and down. Jan playing that middle game a little bit. Curly <laughs> <laughs> goes to the body. Aljamain's on a single leg. He wants to get that leg collected. Oh, no. Sterling unofficially one for five on his takedown attempts thus far. Aljo's working very, very hard for this takedown. And so far, Jan is able to stuff it. Act of preserving energy while defending the takedown. Aljo's got his back here. Oh, great recognition by Jan. Jan is just an exceptional athlete. Oh. The pace is still crazy high. Crazy if Aljamain high. Sterling can do this for 25 minutes, man. Some grappling of Piotr Jan coming in, appear wise to have done so. Oh. Sure. Great bounce back round by Aljamain, though, to this point at least. Oh, oh look nice takedown by Piotr. And he's got his back. I'm gonna climb his back like beautiful. a spider monkey. Right in front of Ray Longo. <laughs> So far, so good. Round three. Fight. Everything he's going out there, he's trying a little too hard. Right now, to me, looks like the champion in there, and it looks like the tide could be changing unless Sterling can go out there, be consistent with fundamentals, and slowly break him down. I didn't like when Ray Longo asked Aljamain how he's doing, and he took a big, deep breath. That's not a good sign. The far busier striker, but Jan super efficient on the feet, landing 68% of his total strikes thus far. That's a crazy number. Look at your shots. But picking those shots wisely. Stop. You good? Careful now. You good? Fight! I mean. No, 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 no. Sterling unofficially won for 10 now on his takedown attempts. Something big. Oh, look at that. Oh my oh, goodness. My look goodness. how beautiful that is. That was a beautiful takedown there by Piotr. I've been tripping him. That was great. And then he just casually lets him stand up. You know what's crazy is like we're watching Aljamain switch stances, but because he's switching so big, you notice everyone. Yeah. Piotr's doing the same thing. Piotr switches stances very, very subtly in front of Aljamain. Yeah. It's more efficient. 
you understand where he wants him to be. In those moments, at least, I mean. He's, he's fatiguing. And yeah, he's he seeing is. it. He's getting sloppy in the way he moves. Again, Look at that. Kill same take down. Throws him to the ground again. He's just such a smart fighter. Kicking low to avoid the takedown. Only seems to go high when he's not in a situation where he can be grounded. Joe lands high. One minute to go round three. Aljo has slowed down considerably. Well, yeah, the pace was so crazy. It was frantic. Right, he was very frantic early in the fight now, but it's not just the pace, it's his, the speed of his movements themselves. Late takedown attempt for Jan. We will need the championship rounds for this one. Final round. Fight. Fighting in a fourth round tonight for the first time since October of 2011. Beyond six for six on his takedowns, he has already doubled his previous personal best in the UFC of three. Oh, nice knee to the body. Crafty Pyotr Jan. Let the hands go a little bit more here. Jan checks almost everything, man. Just yeah. slightly lift the oh. Solid left hand. And the person that dropped Alger was the right hand. Sterling, 15th takedown attempt potentially here. He's one of 14 thus far. Under three minutes to go, round four. But Jan's takedown defense is so solid. I mean, it's been one of the most impressive things about him tonight. Takedown defense is so solid, and you, you get to see how physically strong the guy is. Getting Aljo to the next position every time. That's why he isn't getting taken down. Like, look at that. Yeah, that's He's crazy. going to the back. As soon as Aljo starts to spin, he starts to spin in the direction that allows him to get the back. I don't know why Aljo would throw a spinning back kick when he's this tired. Oh, look at that kick to the body. For the most part, he's still the one that's pressing Fiorian. But he looks so much less rigid. Oh. Well, look at the reactions from the yeah. strikes, right? Look at what happens when Piotr hits him, opposed to when he lands on Piotr. Right. Like, he's in danger. Aljo's body language not ideal here late oh. round four. J.A., it's not great. It is not great. No, and he just doesn't seem to have the energy to complete a double, but he's reaching in. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Vulnerable. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, look at that. That one wrapped around, Joe. Round it. Look at him just pressing on the head here, though. That oh, oh, that's illegal. Oh. His knee was down. So it looks like we're looking at a disqualification. Yep, it's, it looks champion. like we're looking at a new champion, which Man. is bananas. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Due to an intentional foul by Piel Duryan, the winner by disqualification and new UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Aljamain Funkmaster Sterling. Everyone thinks I'm going to get smoked again. I'm going to have the last laugh, and I cannot wait.